And I would change the whole idea of you're being rejected to they don't want to dance with you right now. And you don't know why that is. Like, what's the etiquette around that? And if you are getting lots of no's, how, how do you deal with that? How do you not mm. take that personally? How do you keep persevering? Really good question. And a really, really important thing that, that again, we should be talking about to help new people coming in deal with this because inevitably you're going to be rejected. It doesn't matter who you are, how good you are, how good looking you are. Rejection will happen. Um, so I think that's a really good question. So part one is how do you um, deal with getting, getting no's? Um, okay, so look, I think the first point is it's, 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 it can be shocking, you know, at first because it's kind of contradictory to the environment that we propose to you when you first start. It's like it's friendly and people will dance with you and you should experience it. And it's, then someone's like, hey, would you like to dance? No, I'm good, thanks. It's like, what? No, but I thought we had like this, but we had this agreement where we just would, you know. So the first thing is, you know, it's important to understand that it's, it happens and it's okay and it's part of the game and part of life. So people will say no. And then, the second thing, which is the hardest part, is to not take it personally. Um, it's hard to not take it personally because it might be personal. It just might be. So I'll split it into two parts. So the not taking it personally part is, is the important one. That's the one that I would invest 75% of the energy into. You just do not know why someone is saying no. And I would change the whole idea of you're being rejected to they don't want to dance with you right now. And you don't know why that is. And maybe they don't want to dance with you or anyone else. Maybe they don't want to dance with you right now. Maybe you're, um, you know, a really good dancer and really good looking and their partner is there and they're insecure and they don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. Like you just could not imagine what situation it might be. Maybe they just got a text message from someone overseas and they feel like they should go outside and call them. Like there just could be so many situations that have nothing to do with you. And a lot of the time, that's just the case. You know, people aren't going to tell you that life story. People aren't going to say like, oh, yeah, my stomach just, I'm just worried I'm going to have to run to the bathroom. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to say, hands. I'm just, hey, is that all right? Can I just, I'm just going to stay, right? Like, you're not going to get that. You're just going to get, sorry, like, oh no, or whatever. So the first thing is just to remember that, you know, a lot of the time, it's probably not you. It's probably something else.